Good morning, good morning. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video. I get um, a lot of text and DMs um, about how to compete against agents who are reducing their commission or sellers who want you to reduce their commission. And um, so I wanted to give you guys a script that works. Um, it works about 90% of the time. It's a really good script because essentially what it does is it makes the seller believe that it would be absurd for you. It would be detrimental to um, their listing um, and their goals for the listing to hire you at a reduced commission. And so what that looks like, and obviously motivation is key here, guys. So you, you wanna make sure, obviously, you've got a motivated seller. And so assuming you're sitting down with the seller, the conversation looks like this. It's, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, um, we can agree that it is critical for you to sell this home, right? And you wanted to sell it, um, for the most amount of money um, in as little time as possible, right? We can agree on that. And and so my question to you is, um, did you wanna hire a, an agent who's going to market the home um, to as many buyers as possible so that we can create as many showings as possible, so that we can create as many offers as possible, so that you can sell the property for at or above list price? Or did you wanna hire an agent who was just gonna put it on the MLS and then you know pray that the property sold, right? Uh, not show it to very many buyers, right? Because it's not getting to as many people. And um, we know the answer, right? The answer is you want to hire the professional, the agent who's going to market the property to the most amount of buyers and generate the highest offer for me, right? Uh, in as little time as possible. And so assuming we can agree on that, um, you said that Bob Smith from ABC Realty came in here before me and he was looking to take the listing at 5%. And uh, so I just wanted to ask your permission to tell you why that could be detrimental uh, to you and your goals of selling the property for the most amount of money um, in as little time as possible. Is that okay if I share that with you? And so that conversation goes like this. So you understand, right, that Bob Smith is at 5% and my commission was at 6%, right? And most consumers don't know this. And I love educating consumers because it makes it a no brainer for them to hire me. And, um, but what most consumers don't know is that at 6%, immediately we're paying out 3% of that 6% to another agent um, because, you know, there's 4,600 other agents in our marketplace and we want them to bring our buyers, right? We want to show it as many buyers as possible so that we can generate the highest offer in as little time as possible because you said that was your goal, correct? And uh, since we want to do that, we got to pay out 3% of the commission. And so that leaves 3% left, right? So there's 3% left for me to work with. And uh, any good agent, any really good agent understands that to get the most amount of money in as short a time as possible for you, um, they're going to have to spend some money on marketing, right? You know that. And, and so that leaves 2%, right? And um, you also know that we have to pay the brokerage, right? The brokerage has to stay in business. The brokerage has to keep the lights on, pay the utilities. Um, and, and so that leaves 1%, right? And so if I've got 1% left to work with and I understand that, and I, I by the way, that 1% helps me live my life. It helps me feed my family, helps me pay my bills. And just so you know, Uncle, Stan, Uncle Sam still got to get their cut and they take about 35% of that 1%. So I'm working with about 65% of 1%. And, and so you could see how um, that 6% gets reduced really quickly, right? And But what most consumers don't know, because agents like Bob Smith doesn't share this with them, is they, they have a strategy where they're coming in and they're selling your home for 5%, but they're not doing anything. So at 5%, um, since you know you have to pay the brokerage and Bob Smith is going to make money, right? Because Bob Smith has to feed his family. Um, that leaves out the marketing, right? And so if you don't market the property, you can't show it to enough people to generate the type of offers that you need in the time frame that you need it to take place. And so, you know, what happens oftentimes is I have this conversation with sellers too late. Uh, in other words, um, we're calling or an, an expired seller's calling us saying, hey, would you, could we hire you to sell our property at 6%? You know, the first time around we hired somebody for 5%, and they didn't market the property at all. So I'm trying to save you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, from making that same mistake. And um, you know, more often than not, people understand that and they will sign your listing uh, on the spot. 
if they understand that signing a listing at 5% um, could be detrimental to their goal of selling the property uh, for the most amount of money in as little uh, time, time frame as possible. And so, again, you just have to confirm that with them. You have to help them understand that. And if they do, they'll hire you every time. Hope that helps out. Hey, if, if there's more uh, helpful videos just like this, if you go over to www.theagentfactory.com, have a great day.